This local sports report is presented by the Inn of Waterloo, a proud supporter of local sports. The Inn is open and is now offering gym and pool memberships to the KW community. Book a room, hit the gym, and go for a swim at the Inn, located at 475 King Street North in Waterloo. Call 519-804-1130 or visit theinnofwaterloo.com. Junior B lacrosse from the Galt Arena Gardens, the Cambridge Highlanders back in front of the home crowd on Sunday night. The Highlanders facing off with the Allura Mohawks. The Mohawks sitting pretty in second place looking to find the win on the road. The Highlanders punching up tonight looking to find the upset. Jumping right into the action and it's a quick start for the Mohawks. Jabe Verbeek controls the ball down low. Jabe spots out JJ Levine and JJ dunks it home. So it's 1-0 Mohawks right off the rip. Only seconds later and it's more Mohawks offense. This is Carter Coffey with the ball. He dances through the middle and steps to do a shot and Carter makes it 2-0. The Highlanders look to answer and watch the speed from Drake Neal. He sets up Evan Wallace back door and Evan cuts the lead in half. So it's 2-1 Mohawks. The Mohawks look to keep pace and it's more from JJ Levine. He picks it up out high and fires and JJ's got another. So it's 3-1 Amora. The Highlanders back the other way here on the power play looking to strike before the break. Corbin Hoppert sends it to Nick Thomas and Nick cuts inside. The Mohawks lock him down but Nick gets a backhander off and Nick Thomas, that's a beauty! He finds the goal mesh and the Highlanders pull back within one. Late in the period now the Highlanders with the momentum looking to tie it. Ryder Roberson sends it to Tyler Graham and he fakes a shot. Tyler charges the net and equalizes the game! So it's 3-3 heading to the second. Jumping to the second now, the Highlanders picking up where they left off, and how about Ryder Roberson? He cuts to the net, and Ryder, that's your first career OJBLL goal! And it's a big one, as the Highlanders take their first lead of the night. And the Highlanders wouldn't stop there. Minutes later, and it's more from Evan Wallace. He rips it on net from outside the circle, and the ball trickles in! So it's 5-3 Cambridge. The Highlanders rolling, and moments later, it's more from Ryder Roberson. He's alone out front, and he buries another! That's two for the Highlanders rookie, and it's 6-3 Cambridge. The Mohawks on the counterattack now looking to stem the Highlanders' momentum. Carter Coffey converts, and Alora are back within two. And only seconds later, how about Keegan Detweiler? He's good for another, and the Mohawks pull back within one. The Highlanders need to keep the ball rolling, and it's Drake Neal stepping up for Cambridge. He's got space to shoot, and Drake rips it in, so it's 7-5 Highlanders. A big goal for Neal, and he'd keep coming. Here he is on the power play, roofing it again. That's two for Neal back-to-back, and it's 8-5 Highlanders. And the Highlanders wouldn't stop there. Tyler Graham cuts the seam and finds a goal of his own, so it's 9-5 Highlanders. The Mohawks down but not out look to build a comeback and it starts with JJ Levine. He's got a long distance snipe show and Alora back within three. And JJ wasn't done yet, only minutes later and he's got his fourth of the game, so it's 9-7 Highlanders. And before the break, it's one more for the Mohawks. Owen Moore slams on the rebound and the Mohawks pull within a single goal, heading to the third. Head to the third now, the Highlanders on the counter attack and watch for the trailer. Ryder Roberson's alone out front and he won't be denied. That's a hat trick for Ryder in his first career game, and it's 10-8 Highlanders. The Mohawks, no strangers to momentum, shifts this game back with the ball still fighting for a comeback. We'll watch the Highlanders netminder, Matteo Bowden. He comes up huge with three big saves, and the Highlanders stay up by two. The Highlanders keeping the foot on the gas, looking to help out Bowden, and it's more from Ryder and Drake. Ryder Roberson sets up Drake Neal, and Drake's got his hat trick. He's having himself a night with seven points, and it's 11-8 Cambridge. The Highlanders with a comfy three-goal lead, but this one was far from over. The Mohawks needing a hero, and how about Brinley Wilson? He snipes the goal match from out high, and it's 11-9. And Brinley would keep the show rolling. He beats the defense and scores again, so it's 11-10. The Mohawks with all the momentum, and it's Keegan Detweiler finding the equalizer. That's three in a row from the Mohawks, and we're all tied up at 11 each, late in the third. The Mohawks riding high, and here comes Captain Clutch Brinley Wilson. He cuts inside, and Brinley Wilson, that's the game winner! What a player, and what a game for the Allure Mohawks, as they rally for a comeback. Brinley Wilson putting the team on his back, as the Mohawks come out on top. This one ending with a final score of 13-11.